In spite of the tragic accident that took place in March this year, Africa's largest airliner, Ethiopian Airlines, has announced expansion plans. The airline is increasing its current five destinations in China to more than eight. The new destinations are planned to cut travel transit time and expenses for travelers. CGTN's Gerun Chala has more on that story. Africa's largest airliner, Ethiopian, flies to five Chinese destinations daily, from Addis Ababa Bole International Airport to Chinese cities of Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Hong Kong, as well as Chengdu. ET now wants to make few more additions for both passenger and cargo services to China. Uh, now we are also discussing to add uh, uh, Shenzhen, and we're going to sign uh, a memorandum of understanding on uh, uh, Chongqing as a cargo destination and Zhengzhou, uh, uh, another cargo destination. We are also discussing to add cargo flights to Pudong. So, you know, when you combine both passenger and cargo, we have 54 flights a week to China. And this is the largest in our network, per country network. About 70 years back, Ethiopian Airlines was the only carrier which flew from Africa to China. It connected Africa with Beijing. Today, Ethiopian Airlines claims a large contribution towards developing the strong ties between Africa and China. China is a very big investor in, China, in Africa. So we are also the largest carrier between China and Africa and our market share is more than 50 percent. So we are larger than Emirates or than any other carrier in terms of uh, the trade lane between China and Africa. China itself is at the heart of Ethiopian Airlines' fast expansion and success. On this side, CCCC is building the uh, terminal and uh, um, the ramp expansion. Uh, it's $350 million uh, project, and as you can see, um, uh, the cranes are up and running and uh, at a fast speed. Uh, Avic has also built this hotel, um, and Avic has built a maintenance hangar. So everything here, as you can see, is Chinese. Ethiopian Airlines, a government-owned national flag carrier, is still building bridges between China and Ethiopia as well as other African states. Ethiopia and China have the highest comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership. Therefore, ET's success in the Chinese market is one good example that the partnership is working pretty well. Grumtala CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.